Globally, we spend 274 million hours every single day on Facebook. We watch a billion videos on YouTube. It's a huge opportunity to figure out how that human energy can be used in new and exciting ways. If we can create a marketplace where uh, it's incredibly easy for nonprofits to post questions, problems, tasks that they need done, and thousands of micro volunteers can help them solve problems, that's an incredibly valuable resource. This is a, a village leader in Africa. His name is Jackson, and he's trying to figure out how to uh, put a well into his village. Through an NGO we're working with in Africa, um, Jackson posted this request. It was routed through our system to some other people who have an expertise in this area. They're now on track to putting a well in their village in Kenya. This is happening uh, hundreds of times a day in the system. If we get enough people doing that, we're really excited about uh, what we can accomplish. The earthquake in Haiti was on a scale that we've never experienced before. I know very quickly that this was way beyond the capability of the Haitian government to cope with. My first reaction was to try and get in touch with my folks in Haiti, and I, I could not because all of the telephones were down. So there was a high level of anxiety. There were hundreds of thousands of people missing, and people started posting photographs all over the internet. Uh, I'm missing my cousin, my nephew, my daughter. We also realized that photographers from global news agencies were in Haiti. We said, well, hey, how, why can't we use micro-volunteers to look for missing persons in photographs of news agencies? So we, within 72 hours, our team engineered the system. We had tens of thousands of micro-volunteers from around the world sitting at their desks at their laptop. And it's as simple as, do you see this face in this photograph? Yes or no? When the photos came through, we were able to identify 24 missing persons. It was just an incredible moment, realizing, wow, we actually found missing persons using this technology that didn't exist before. My hope is that at scale, we have millions of people sharing their skills and expertise and helping to move humankind forward. And that, that's a big goal, but that's what we wake up every single day trying to do.